Hello everybody, I am Chibi Joe and we're here with another reaction video. And this time we're going to be Marie's Adventures, A Yule Memory. Uh, this was definitely, this was told to me that it was canon. And it was in between episodes two. Oh my god, these burps. Episode two and episode three. So, let's watch. Marie's Adventures, A Yule Memory. There's Rosie, I'm guessing. Would anyone like apple cider or some snacks? It's been a while since we've relaxed on a yule by the fire pit. Oh, oh, me, me! The official voice of me? <laughs> Make that two apple ciders. <laughs> what about you, my love? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. That sounds like Lucas Lewis is like, I'm not doing anything hey, that'll make you happy, um, damn it. Do you think we could decorate the village with your lights this year, Eric? I don't see why not. Lord Veronica, did we still have some decorations that Maeve made last year at your place? I do. Lucas, can you give me a hand to bring them down? I love course, Veronica's Veronica. design. Don't be so tense, Oh my god! Lucas. It's Yule. We saw both of his eyes! The end times are coming! <laughs> Bless you. It's cold. I'll grab you a blanket to warm you up. Rosie. Please what made you think that? The snow? Hey, Maeve, did you make anything for your friends for Yule? Of course! I made you and everyone near the fire pit a present. <laughs> what about the kids around your age? Fuck them kids. I don't hang out with kids my age in the village. If I'm being honest, this is my first Yule that I can walk and breathe in a while. Last year, I was only able to make the decorations, but I was too sick to put them up. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. What are you hoping to get this Yule? <laughs> Just I'm change topic. You guys, especially spending it with Eric. It's been so long since I've seen him laugh and relax. He has grown a lot, especially being a good older brother to you. There you go, sis. Thank you. Guess who has Yule decorations? Let's start with the plaza. I'm sure the tree will be the best part for you. Is this, uh, uh, mistletoe, Maeve? Yeah, I heard from the merchants that it's a fun thing to make. <clears throat> Rosie, do you, uh, know about the mistletoe dare? Mistletoe dare? What's that? Well, you basically either try to kiss someone you love under the mistletoe for Yule, or you could cause chaos and dare someone to get a kiss under it. If the other person loses, the winner has to make the loser do whatever they want. I'll have to keep that in mind. That's fun to know. Would you like to I'm gonna seduce Lucas with it. Sure thing. All right, I got the lights. Maeve. Lucas, you want to be the father of my children? Both. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you don't. Then Lucas. you have to kiss me oh, under the mistletoe. Whoa, no, well then you have to Quite do whatever I say. Damn it. You are very creative and talented. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got too. lost in my bit there for a second. So cute. I love we the gingerbread man. Last decoration to put on the tree, Maeve. Oh, what's that? We still have to put the star on the tree. Since you've never gotten a chance to do this before, we give you the honors of putting it on top. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. No. Maeve, why are you crying? This <laughs> is the best you'll ever. Thank you, everyone. What the fuck do you oh, think she's so crying for, Veronica? Emotions, I <laughs> you just listened to her talk how she's pretty much self-isolated due to her sickness, and now she's getting to do these things. Her brother lifts her up to put the star on the tree, which is like a huge deal. What the fuck do you think she's crying? <laughs> Almost forgot. I'm sorry. Everything all right? No. Eric? I sewed a teddy bear for you, Aww. because you're my brother bear. Lucas, I carved a wooden dragon for you, since you're cool like a dragon and protective like one. Lord Veronica, I made you an amber bracelet. You're always pretty like crystals, 
It's to keep you safe and stay lucky. Rosie, I made a heart clip for you. You always Aww. work so hard with the crops and animals. I made this to keep your hair back if you need. Or even a cute clip for you. You are so sweet, Maeve. These are all so cool. That's my girl. It's my turn to give something to you, Maeve. You may want to sit by the fire for this one. Whoa! What's this? It's a snow globe of us playing in the snow when we were younger. Not only that, but it plays music. How do I play the music? <laughs> Tip it upside down for the snow to start. Eric! This was Mother's song! Aww. As the snow falls and the paths change, the breeze brings you to me. I shall be by your side in this snow. Is it, okay, so I actually have a thing that I love. I love when characters can't sing. It feels more real to me. It feels more heartfelt if a character cannot sing but still does. I feel like it's more genuine and more heartfelt. Like, if a person can sing, then yeah, they're good. They go, like, okay, yeah, they can sing really good. But there's just something more heartfelt if someone sings off key. Anyways. It'll be alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Eric, thank you. This is the best gift you could have given me. Happy Yule, sister. All right, everybody. That's all I have for you guys today. Have an awesome day and a good night.